A new update, like newest updates, Nairamari just posted on his verified Instagram page, Morning Mohabad. <laughs> While well, the Nigerians are there attacking him, even though he locked his comment section, like he doesn't want anybody to comment because he knows Nigerians are going to come for him for dropping that kind of, you know, post. So he said, um, rest in peace, my broski, I am shattered with broken hearts emotions. Emoles with hashtag M um, word got you forever, bro. When you were harassing him, trying to beat him and buy him, you know, be your bro skill. Now, now, when you don't buy, is now your bro skill. So, he posted it with this video. You guys will be seeing on my screen. Like, you know, there are moments when um, I think uh, Muhammad was still in their label. Yeah, that's what it's called. Like, when he, when he was still in their record label. He's one of them then. Their happy moments, you know, his performance and the songs that, you know, he sang in the label. So he posted the happy moments while, you know, mourning him. So later on, he also posted this and uh, condolence letter from the Malians label and all of that, you know, and from the Malian music label. Yeah. So he said, with heavy hearts, we mourn the loss of an exceptional Darling, someone who was more than an artist or signee, but a brother and a dear like it's a is a long <laughs> later. I don't want to waste you guys or so bore you guys reading it out. I'll just leave the you know the later on the screen here for you guys to read it okay you can pause and read it on your own like he also said something about them you know having a fight he said brothers have fights and all of that you know is normal thing that is all love and light in his space so the videos that we saw online of him and his team harassing and beating up mohammed mohabad is it that is not them or is he trying to deny that they have never done it to him i know there is something like disagreement but this was that we saw online it was intentional and it was like repeatedly it repeated itself several times no be one no be two no be three and he said that one are only misunderstanding <sighs> Like Nigerians are waiting for him. They said, May open comment section now. Why is he why is he scared? Why is he scared? Kobe, can you let me be go, go to sleep? <laughs> Please ignore this boy at my back. Like, why is he scared? Why did he lock his comment section? Later on, he also went on his story, um, Instagram story, and posted, Hey guys, I have been shattered. I'm reading it from my data phone. Kobe, can you leave there? Hey guys, I have been shattered. Don't even know what to type since I have been so hot. Wallahi. But guys, let's do this for more, more bad. I know internet can let us shed light into this matter for Imole. Where did he go? Who took him there? Who are the people he was with? Who was he last seen with? What was the nurse treating? Who is the nurse? Why was there no autopsy? Why was he buried so quick in that manner? Who paid Easter block to say ear infection first? Who we owe Imole this light over darkness every day? They want to hide it by paying blocks. Let's show them their money is wasted. A lot of his friends know exactly what happened to him. Why are they scared to speak up? Who is bullying people to delete the post that, that is showing what happened to him on that day? Why did the nurse treat him? Who took him to the nurse? Who is the guy in the car with him? with his lifeless body so these are the questions he asked on his instagram story 57 minutes ago i don't know where you're watching this video but yeah so he also said he deserves a benefiting barrier and justice hashtag emoless word so this is his post on instagram just now but he locked his comment section so that nigerians will not come for him because he knows that all eyes are on him like people like 90% of the evidence that have been shown online is pointing at him and his team that their hands they are involved in whatever that happened to that young 27 artist.
it's so bad that in nigeria we don't even embrace love we are always here for violence fight envy jealousy like competition that is not necessary like it, instead of us to carry each other along to grow we are just you know tarnishing our image our country image the the afro like it's just a whole lot this is so sad in the music industry i just hope this guy gets the justice he deserves like the justice he, he deserves this justice even his burial now, now that one they pay me pass the way they quickly buried this guy with like can you see the casket that he was buried in his head was even bent i don't even know if they broke the head to bend it like it's so heartbreaking to watch that lifeless body being buried in such a in such manner i don't know how you guys see it but this is how i feel about this whole stuff so naira mari have voiced out and said he's a brother to him and you know he's asking question on what happened and saying that there are people that are not saying something about Imores Imores death that they should come out and say what actually happened to him fingers crossed i just hope everything that have to be done should be done in this case let me know what you think about this video i don't want to talk too much let me know your thoughts in the comment section share it let's share our thoughts on what is going on don't forget to follow like and share this video i will see you guys in my next one bye guys